Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Also guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is the same, Miss Serenity Smith. And also guys, I do have a blog that I am doing, which is serenity miss serenity smith babies.com and um so that is that also guys if you want to join the chatterbox the link is in the description bar it is a dollar and 99 cents for at least one exclusive live stream a month however we do tend to have a little bit more than one a month we've already had one for september but we had such a blast hanging out that I think we will definitely have another one before this month is over. My schedule is pretty complex and I say that just to let guys, you guys know I am reading all your comments. I love your comments. When I heart them, I don't just go and heart, heart, heart. I actually read them. I try to answer questions in the um, next videos or either answer them right then and there in the comment section. Um, I am... Like I said, I am very booked up right now. I have a lot of special projects coming up. I am planning on sharing my journey with you guys as I go along. Um, right now, I'm working on my partial, which is um, Polly by Sherry Bowden. Um, so I am working on her. And I think in the end, she may end up coming out to be really pretty. Um, however, I am going to probably sell her just because... Um, I ended up with Alex and I want to keep Alex um, but who knows I may end up keeping both but right now I need I need the funds so that's why I was like okay maybe I'll sell her um, at some point I will have Dallas by um, Dawn McLeod um, available um, once she gets back from her rooting um, I think that, that's a reborn. So I have one partial silicone, one reborn. Um, I don't have anything available right now to date. Um, a lot of people are asking me that. Um, my prices for um, ball babies, the reborns, start out at $800. Um, that's shipped um, with a very small box opening. I will tell you guys straight up that I'm not elaborate on my box openings. I'm not fancy big boxes, big shebangs, whatever. I pretty much price my babies based off of my work and then I throw in the little extra. So I don't really, so a lot of people say, well, what about if I just don't do a box opening? Um, well, it's still gonna be the same price. Um, when I started out and I started doing a silicone baby and I, I did a, a base my price off of just painting services be, because that's what the overall average people do. They don't they don't do box openings. They usually send your baby right back in a blanket in a onesie or a diaper and they just charge you to paint. That's what I kind of based my prices off and was doing was going to do that, but it's very hard for me as a collector to send a baby off that way. Um, not that it's wrong. I don't mind. I've received my babies like that in a diaper and that's it, you know, type thing. Um, and that's fine. Even from major artists, I've received my babies like that before and I'm perfectly okay with it. Um, I just like to put in a little something. So, um, I don't know. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it, um, yet. Um, but... For now, until I really understand what I'm doing with the partials, I'm not going to paint any partials right now. Um, when I have an available spot, I will take on maybe a preemie or a newborn size. I don't want to do a big baby. Um, I will show you guys the next baby that I'll be working on when it arrives. Um, but that is, you know... I, I typically don't want to do big babies. So anyway, let's talk about the baby that's here. Four minutes in and here we are. This is where we're at. But I was just trying to answer some of the questions. A lot of people ask, how can they contact me? It's better if you contact me on um, Facebook, in Messenger. Um, also, 
Instagram is a good way, but I really like when I can look and see who you are. I won't lie. Um, I don't really like dealing with random people just simply because so much goes on. So anyway, this baby was a private order for a chatter queen and I trusted to do a private order for this particular mommy. Um, she's a first time mommy, so it's going to be exciting. Um, me, like I tell you guys all the time, um, I think she's my eighth silicone baby that I've painted. I am not perfect, but I do my very best. So I'm just trying to get as close as I can up on my work so you guys can see. Um, it may or may not pick up everything, but um, which sometimes can be a good thing, I guess. I don't know, sometimes not. But she is a baldy right now. She is going to get rooted, but that's that's her head. So um, I do paint the whole head. Um, she does have some subtle veining. Um, you may or may not be able to see it. But she has veining going in her in her forehead and she has veining in her arms and her legs and her tummy and her, you know, in her back and stuff like that. Um, her feet, da 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 da. Um, I'm gonna get her in a sleeper because I am going to root her. I am waiting on her hair to arrive. So I'm gonna root her with some wavy hair. Um being that I'm just starting rooting, you know, it's kind of tricky sometimes, you know, the hair, you don't know how the hair is going to turn out till you get it rooted. But anyway, she has um, armatures, which is pretty cool because I they work really good. I really like the way these work um, because, like, she literally can push her hands back. I really like that. I like her being able to do that. Um, it's not my baby, but I think posability is a lot for me. Um, so she is not the super soft marshmallow. Um, I was t told I think she's more like an Ecoflex 20, but she's not the same Ecoflex 20 as like Alex or, you know, everybody mix is different. You know what I mean? Like I felt tons of Ecoflex 20 across the board and none of them have felt the same. So, um, you know, that can't be explained through video or pictures or email. That's something you just have to experience on your own. She does have a little tongue. She does have a drink and wet system. So I did paint inside her mouth. She has very lightly painted eyebrows. Um, I just simply didn't like them heavy and it's very hard to do eyebrows in silicone. And like I said, here's her little feet. Um, they are lightly tipped um, as well as her nails on her hands. Um, so let me see. I'm trying to see what you guys can see because I want to. This is also kind of for her mommy too. And that's another thing. Um, when I paint for you guys, I will provide work a work in progress. This is something I'm, I'm setting in place because I'm learning that it's gonna be too difficult to keep up when I have multiple orders. I don't like to show step by step, step by step. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll be honest with whoever I end up working for, I'm gonna let you guys know right up. I'm gonna show you the baby when I first get it. Um, I will show you and then I will paint the baby. I will get to a point where the skin tone is pretty much there. Once I get to a skin tone that I feel um, I like, I will show you and ask you if you want me to go a little bit further. Of course, I'm not doing no chocolatey, really chocolatey babies because I haven't Experiment on that when I experiment on my personal baby and can reach that comfortably then I can offer that um, But um, That's the only photo I will share until after and then 
once I get there, then I will show a picture once the baby is matted. Um, I am not going to show step by step and I'm not going to take, you know, a lot of photos because it, it does take time to keep moving around and it does cause, can cause problems when you're trying to move a baby around and then you got to keep cleaning them off because stuff, uh, touch on them, et cetera, et cetera. But this is, you know, this is her movement. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. So that's her movement. This is not my baby, so I'm not gonna do too much to her. Her head does ch turn, you know, slightly. Like I said, it turns enough to where you can pose her. Um, These are her little ears. Oh, back. So, if you wanted to layer it there, I think it turns enough to where you can keep her out. Her head doesn't be in the pillow, which is nice. And I see a piece of there. Yeah. Okay. So, and then her little legs. So. And she has a cute bum bum. I can show the back, but I can't show the front. So, that's her little bum bum. So she has a cute bum bum. I am gonna change her diaper. And like I said, she does have some veining. Um, and, ooh, head went back into the pillow. Okay, so, let me see. And then like you could turn her there. So like, you know, we always say they favor one side. She turns even better to that side. But she, I really, really loved painting her. I think she's a really cute baby. Um, really, really cute baby. Um, so, and, oh, if I haven't said, she's Jewel by DMH Studio. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Let me see. I can't see if you guys can see. Okay, I hope you guys can see. But she's going to get her diaper changed and I'm going to get her in her stuff. But, you know, like I was looking at her from across the room and I'm not just saying this because I painted her myself. But, um, she did look very real. Her skin tone is a very realistic skin tone. So I thought that that was good. At least it'll be good for the mommy. Because that's important. So this is a premium diaper. The one she had on was a newborn diaper. So now I'm going to put her on a premium diaper, which is what she should be wearing. So when she go home, I will send her a few premium diapers. And... She would be cute with hand mitts on too. And she has, she has really cute little feet and hands. So she's, she's a cute baby. Um, you know, price point wise, really good. I love her ears. Her ears are so beautiful. Like, she has like a lot of little good things about her. Um, so I think she's a very lovable baby. I think she'd be so fun to dress up. I can't wait to see her with hair. Um, I don't know if mommy gonna want her ears pierced or not, or she's gonna pierce her ears, but I tried to make sure I paint her ears really nice. Cause they, I, thought, I thought her ears was really, I have certain parts of dolls that I love the most and nice ears is is a big to do for me so I thought the ears was beautiful on this baby like the, the, the sculpting on the ears was really beautiful so I really really wanted to take my time to paint the ears I mean not that I don't take my time on everything of the baby but you know you get carried away with certain things that you 
really really love she does take a binking um let's see so this is just a preemie binky oh my bad i didn't know i was still had y'all up close but yeah that's just a preemie binky i do have a regular one i don't want to do ky and all that stuff on her because i don't know you know sometime in the end i after the rooting and all that stuff sometime i i go back and gloss but yeah so anyway she can fit it you just gotta use ky um but i'm not gonna do that right now and i'm not gonna push it in because she's not my baby um which i think would be perfectly fine but you want to be careful with that because of their jaws you don't want to split that etc etc she can take these off oh the lamp doll oh, there you go so her matting came out really good i was happy about that um so she's been in my nursery for a couple weeks and like i said it's, it's probably going to take me about two weeks to root her um, i'm not a super fast rooter as i just began to um root um she'll probably be like my hmm, as of recently back in the day i think i rooted like two babies um not that great just pop 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 but to try to directionally root i've only rooted about let's see penelope um Finn and who else did I root? And I just root, rooted um the her name starts with a D. But oh my gosh, Daenerys. Um for another first time mommy. So I've been working with a lot of first time mommies. Um but or first time silicone mommies. There are not first time collectors they collect um one of them is a very long season collector of reborns just not silicone so um that can be uh a kind of interesting experience just simply because um You know, it's different. The re the the reborns and the silicone is so different. But silicones came a long way. Used to be a time where uh, silicones couldn't hold a candle to a reborn as far as painting goes. They just looked so blah. Just ugh. I didn't I didn't really care for them back then. But they've come a long ways, and now we're starting to get the detail in them like you would in reborns um but they're not for everybody but the people who do get into silicone tend to really really love them i love both mediums i love both so like i said i'm putting her in a sleeper and the reason why i'm putting her in a sleeper this is a preemie sleeper by the way too the reason why i'm putting her in a sleeper is because when i root I will put them in a sleeper and then I will wrap her up really tight to try to keep as much hair off of her as possible. But in the end, they get their last little bath before they go anyway. But I just don't like all that hair. That hair is hard to get off the silicone. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I as being a new painter, I have to be selective um on what i choose to do and what i choose not to do um i'm working like i said on uh poly by sherry bowden the silicone is different and it changes the way your painting comes out you have to you know learn all those different things and so you know some people i'm very familiar and i can look at their silicone and i can tell you straight up i'm not painting it like if it's very see-through translucent pour i'm not doing it um but you know some you don't know until you get it to you and it just and the texture is different i don't know it's kind of weird but um 
I had one baby that was almost like the silicone was like you I would compare it to German vinyl in reborns it just kind of soaked up the paint and it was like a lot um but for the most part I've had I mean they all pretty much worked out in the end but it it, it can be challenging um but as you and then sometimes you don't know because you're new and then as you go on you begin to learn that oh this is different you know this is different this is different let's see there we go all right so this is a very long video but i hope that you guys um got some information and some questions answered um i can't really blur out a price yet i haven't quite decided on a straight price um i've been kind of a little here and there i will be honest with you and say that you know it's kind of hard it's harder when you're doing custom painting versus just a buy it now because you finish the baby you put a price tag on it and whatever it is it is when you do a custom and you do the pricing you know people it they feel it differently than when you just do straight out so um you know uh yeah so so like for instance my fin so for 4800 um but if i was to quote the difference of the kit and the price of the 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 painting service people would be screaming but doing it completed you know it doesn't sound so bad so you have to think of consider it that way but it is a lot of work and the materials are a lot more expensive than um reborns so anyway guys thanks for watching and i hope the mommy enjoyed the video of our cute little puka luke i um i just think she's just a sweetie pie she's and she feels good in, in your arms too. So it's really, really nice. And I hope that she brings her mommy lots of joy when she gets home. And I hope to get her there soon. I try not to hold on to people babies too long. So I know what that feels like. Oh, sorry, I was trying to. Yeah, so I know, because I know what that feels like to be waiting. So I try my hardest not to to do that. But I mean you can't rush it. You got to get it done as perfect as you can. So, and she wants a very specific rooting. So we're going to try that for this little mama. Okay, mama. All right. <laughs> oh boy. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.